All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. You know the free agent film breakdown. This time on the Giants' new backup quarterback, Drew Locke from the Seahawks, formerly of the Broncos. Uh, with the quarterback film breakdowns, I like to go chronologically through a game. He started two games, threw three touchdowns, three interceptions versus the 49ers and the Eagles. So uh, one team that was really good in the 49ers and then an Eagles team that was, was starting to crumble. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through all of that. Some really good stuff in there, some things that need to be fixed. Um, a couple really bad plays, but... Uh, it's, it's not like the early Drew Locke days where it's just throwing the ball down the field, leading the NFL in interceptions. Like he has matured as a player. But so let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. So we have 26 plays we're going to go through. First play. We've got play action. We're going to take this deep shot to JSN. And I kind of like I like the decision. Right there in a three deep. Uh, zone right now this safety is playing on the hash All right and then if you see the receiver down here he's able to win and when as soon as he sees that he's won he's pulling the trigger on that throw that's a throw that i like but it gets very nearly very close to being an interception All right and it's just about the ball so to me Take the extra, get your feet pointed there, right? See how our feet aren't pointed at the throw? Get those feet pointed. Get lined up. Because now you're just living all, all off of arm talent. Not being able to generate as much power through your legs. And the ball flutters. Allows the safety to get over. Charverius Ward was able to get his hands on the ball. Could have been an interception. Instead of, I mean, this is a throw from, from the 30. You know, that's that's he can throw the ball 60, 65 yards. You know, you get this ball out here, that may be a touchdown to start the game. Instead, it's almost a, an interception. Next play. This is where you can see a little bit of the fun of Drew Locke, right? Bad snap. Able to get outside the pocket and make a throw. We'll see it better from the other angle. But this is supposed to be play action. You have the guard pulling, right? So this is all scramble drill, right? This is all free, uh, freestyling. In reality, this would have been open if it's not a bad snap. So get outside the pocket. You find DK Metcalf on the curl. And just a good instinctive play. High snap. There's other high snaps in this game too. Beautiful ball placement. Putting that outside where only DK can get it. And you turn a broken play into a nice little completion. Here, this is basic. But you get a man in motion. You get a man coverage identifier. 49ers are coming with the blitz. You know, they're sending six. They got the one deep safety. We got man coverage. So let's, let's get the ball to our hop. You got Tyler Lockett on his out route. Stay in the pocket, outside shoulder, good throw. Nothing special, but a nice, simple throw. Next play. This is a touchdown. This is beautiful. Do this fake toss, step up in the pocket, and just beautiful ball placement. But a good read, too, right? So we've got DK Metcalf on the vertical. We have these two overs right here. You got the two high safety look. All right, so these two players are occupying this safety. All right, his read is this player right here. We know this is occupying here. We're not throwing this. This isn't part of it. But we're reading this safety. And when this safety stays to take this, well, we step up and make the throw. Bam. So a nice, good, simple read and an even better throw. See it from this angle. All right. Step up. See how the feet are pointed well this time. And just puts that ball beautifully towards the sideline. And DK Metcalf does his thing and gets himself a touchdown for Drew Locke and the Seattle Seahawks. Next play. 
this is just some of the stuff where he can still be hesitant in the quick game. I think he's done a lot of better better job than what you saw earlier in his career, where it was like, man, this guy just can't operate the quick game. But there is still some hesitancy, especially when you're playing a guy like Fred Warner. So you're going to have this slant right here for JSN. And then you got Bobo, or this drive for JSN, and then the, the Bobo's on this slant. So he's he, the read on this is Fred Warner. We've got four for three. The read is Fred Warner. So as soon as Warner backs out and works to his right, throw it right now, right now, right now. But instead, he takes a way to get it, get it out. And JSN has to avoid a hit and ends up dropping the ball. If at this point we're throwing the ball, well, we get the ball here. He can get, you know, a nice 10, 15 yard play worth of yak. And if you're hesitant on it too, right? Throw this because this is going to be there, right? This corner is working outside. He's, this a corner has the vertical. If you're going to do that, throw this. If you're if you want to be you know wait because then you can get a nice little yak play for Jake Bobo but you see from the other angle just late right I know Fred Warner's a beast but throw that ball instead you're throwing your you know your slot wide receiver a medicine ball here I re I really really like this throw this is play action this is a form of that Yankee concept that the Giants like to run they've run this variation of it right where it's play action. You've got the deep post and then the over. But to counter the over and the way defenses play it, you sit on this, turn it into an out route, right? Because this corner is like, I got to get over on this. I, you know, I, I need to cover this over route versus a three deep zone, which leaves this whole sideline area open when you run this concept. And it's a good job by Drew, by Drew Locke, you know, watching – the deep post, keeping this safety honest, moves up in the pocket, great timing, knowing that it's going to be open, reading that it's a three deep coverage, and knowing that it's going to be there. All right, we step up from that pressure from Bosa and rip it, and just beautiful ball placement. That I really, really like that type of throw, get that type of timing. That's, that's a concept that the Giants like to run. And Drew Locke is not afraid to throw the deep post when the safety sits on it. So that's something that the Giants could find some success if they have to go to him. Here, I like the start of it. This is a bad play call. Right? You're backed up in your end zone. Nothing open, right? Bad play call, bad at the wrong time. So Drew Locke rightfully scrambles out of it, right? You're backed up in your end zone. It's first down. Just run and get the yards. Instead, he backs the team up more. Because you're going to see they throw a penalty because he's past the line of scrimmage. This is just like simple field awareness. For what, right? For this? Like that to me is not... You've got it, right? Get get out here, get four or five yards and run. And if he decides to run earlier, like he's... You know, Maybe you can, you know, get up here, dump the sideline, get a first down, whatever, eight, nine yards. Instead, now you're getting backed up half the distance to the goal line and you get yourself in trouble. Next play. Some of the simple issues that are wrong. Eyes go the wrong way on this play. So we put Kenneth Walker in motion. We've got man coverage out here. Now our we want to throw... This concept. That's what this is designed for. But you're reading this linebacker. If this linebacker moves over here, we're going to work to the back side of this. But he doesn't. And for some reason, Locke just doesn't throw. This should be this should be simple. Right? This player's undercutting it. It's man coverage. Throw it right here. Throw it right here. Instead, it's a ball that gets tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it wouldn't have been a it wouldn't have been a, a you know, a gain anyways, even if he completes it, because they're closing in on this. You see his eyes. Like, we're looking there. It's there. It's there. Why are we getting off of this? Ends up being a uh, batted pass. This uh, ends up being a dropped interception to the tight end right here. Now, I don't really like this play call to the field. I mean, this is just... 
a long throw that you have to make. Uh, but you get the motion, right? So now we have his uh, identifier that this is zone coverage. We're in a two deep look. So you're running this this little smash, right? We got two of these guys on these little indie route uh, in routes, and then you've got your tight end on the corner. I don't know if the pressure gets him and panics him on this, but this is not here, right? This corner is not in man coverage, so he's going to get back into this area, and this safety's playing this all the way, right? He has outside leverage. He hasn't lost his own leverage. And again, very lucky that this gets dropped as an interception. I mean, this could have been intercepted by two guys. I don't know if it's the pressure that, you know, got him rattled. I mean, but that should have been six. Or not six. That should have been an interception for San Fran. And he's lucky. Right, and say Lenore doesn't get his hands on it, this could be an interception for the safety as well, Jair Brown. Next play, what do we have? Gets a blitz on this man coverage with uh, this player being the dropper. All right, this player becoming the dropper to try and get rid of the easy hot throw. Right, like when he gets this blitz, this is the hot right here, but this is made to you know shut that off so he can't throw it quick. So good. Good feel, good understanding for Locke to realize, like, hey, I can't throw this hot right now. Scramble and get make some time. And you get the ball out to lock it. Nice yak play. Simple stuff. Simple stuff, but good and effective, right? Stuff you have to do. Next play. Play action. Going to run post wheel. Versus cover three. Or, you know, cover six, a three deep zone. Simple but good. All right, we get play action, turn our head. We are now reading this player. This player takes the post. We throw this here. He takes the post. We've got the sideline. Good placement to not throw it too far ahead of him and allow this corner to come in back and make a play. Simple chunk play. Next, what do we have? This is this is a touchdown. This isn't anything impressive from Drew Locke. It's a good play called by Shane Waldron, but it is a touchdown, so we put it in there. This you know, fake swing, fake screen, tight end flips that leaks out, touchdown. Drew Locke, you don't get the credit for that one. Um next. Oh, this is the uh, an interception that he has. All right, kind of a similar where where, you know, that concept that he threw that ball to lock it this time or the variation of his instead of running the post, DK is going to run the post corner. And lock is reading this safety. And I get that this safety is not making this play here, but DK doesn't have the leverage on this. He just doesn't. You've got to scramble, get to your outlet or something, because this is just not a winning ball. And you end up throwing it into double coverage. It's a bad throw, too. Like, I understand you don't have many options at this point. you got to scramble, try and find, you know, the outlet, just figure out what you can. But it's a bad decision paired with a bad throw because it's thrown inside, and you get an easy interception for Jair Brown, the rookie. Um... Here he takes a sack. On and this is hey we're we're to the boundary. They're in cover two. Pull the trigger on this. He has the power to do it, right? We're not throwing to the field. We're throwing to the boundary right here. And this, this is, and this corner makes the read easy on this, right? C corners usually will come and, and and follow, and then squat, and then you know come down if there's, you know, if there's an out route or something that he's got to take. But this corner makes it easy, like he makes it simple. 
He's got the arm strength. Throw this. Throw this. Instead, he pumps it. Ends up taking a sack. You know, turns a second and short, which which should have been a nice little chunk play. And this is easy. Pull the trigger on this throw. Pull the trigger on this throw. We know he's got the balls to do it, right? He takes some risky plays. It's there. You got it. When it's there, pull the trigger. Don't second guess yourself. It's there. And for some reason, he pumps on it. And it ends up taking a sack. Um... And then this is the last play from the 49ers game. This and an interception. This is fourth and 13. I like this decision. He just ends up, the ball gets hit from from his hand. Right, fourth and 13, we're trying to create a play. So they run basically all this distraction down here to occupy this safety because we're trying to get the post with DK Metcalf. It's there, right? This does exactly its job. It occupies this safety. It's there. This could have been a nice big play, but he ends up getting hit. Right. Ball gets fluttered up. Interception for Fred Warner. So uh, I can't be mad at him for that one. I like the decision. Good, like saw it and re- and saw it and pulled the trigger on it. Now versus the Eagles. Some good stuff in this. Some not so good stuff. But ended up winning this game. This is a third and ten. Now maybe this can this ball can come out a little quicker. But really nice. They're in a too high look. And then they have these guys mugged up, right? They have these guys mugged up. So you don't know if they, you know, we have um, we have seven blockers. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, six guys down at the line. We don't know who they're sending or if these guys are going to drop out, right? So that's what we're reading originally. It's third and ten. It's trying to get them to get the ball out quick. So these cats drop out, right? But you got Hassan Reddick in coverage. So... Lockett is going to get around here and find this hole. And Lock's arm strength makes up for maybe what was a bit of a late decision, but I still like it. Like you could probably pull 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 this one now. Instead instead of waiting for okay, now he has stopped and it is open. But still fires it in there. And barely gets that thing through. Get yourself a nice third and long conversion. So good, really good throw. So sometimes arm strength can make up for, for being late. Here. Throw to Tyler Lockett. This is a simple read. This is versus quarters coverage. We've got bracketing down here. They're both bailing on this. This safety's bailing for God knows what reason. This linebacker's are, you know, box safety is down here. This is an easy throw. You've got all the time in the world, and for some reason, he just throws to the check. This and we'll see, it even looks even worse from the from his view. This is here all day long. This player is not getting back to make the play on that. Like these guys bail. This is horrible coverage by the Eagles. This should be a nice, easy, simple chunk play. Instead, it's a check down. Like he's reading, he's reading this player and he bails. And we get back, this should be an easy chunk play. Instead, we're throwing it to a check down. Don't like that. This next play, this is this is one of my favorite throws by him. Right, we got this, this shallow cross right here and it's covered. Again, versus quarters coverage. I know that this looks like it ends up being open, but that's just because they're reacting to the throw. All right, so this is occupied. We're not throwing to here. They've got two for one on the shallow cross. It's not there. So good job by Drew Locke identifying that, getting to the back side of this, and firing in there on this dig throw. It looks better from the back, uh, the end zone view. Right, like a good job, real like processing. Okay, this is not opening up. Let me get to the back side of this and fire in this dig. Good accuracy. Beautiful throw. I love that. That's like good definitive decision. See, you know, seeing, believing what you see and then getting off of it and then having the conviction to pull the trigger on it. This play. Why am I showing a handoff? Because he's got that dog in him. Lead blocking for a touchdown. You scumbag Eagles. 
Little bitch-ass Eagles. Getting blocked by Drew Locke. That's my quarterback. All right, next play. This is a play the Giants uh, run. They ran it to success versus the Cardinals. Where it's where you have the two verticals on the outside. And then you have this player come in and occupy this, right? This deep curl. Versus a two deep, uh, you know, versus a two high look. And you're just saying, hey, go win out on the outside, guys. Somebody win out on the outside. Locks look, looks over to the left first. This safety is working out here, so probably not going to throw that. Now let's get back on this safety. This safety is sitting. This safety is sitting. Pull the trigger. We've got it, right? Pull the trigger now. Awesome. Good decision. Good read, but it's just not able to connect on the throw. Like quickly. Sees that safety. All right, we're not throwing the DK. That safety sitting. Pull it. And just misses the throw. Third and two. We're that against that mugged up look, right? We've got one, two, three, four. They could be running a cover zero blitz. You put the black, the the black, the back up for protection. And they drop out. So if they rush, right? This is the hot throw, right? If if they rush, if these guys come off the end. If these two players right here, instead of dropping out rush, this is the hot throw, right? If this player even drops, we're going to throw it into this window. But it's not. So as soon as you see these guys dropping, get off of it. And he takes just, I know it, it doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it's still looking at that. Get off of it. Right. And then this safety's bailing. They're playing cover two. And this corner squats on it, right? We want to throw this out route. This corner squats on it, right? So you don't throw it, right? Good job not throwing that. But man, this could be six too, right? And I know it's not the easiest read in the world. Like you got to be on your, you know, thinking quick, but that could be six. Pull the trigger on that stuff. Ends up taking a sack. Almost, you know, ends up turning the ball over. You'll see from this angle. Luckily it doesn't. And, and they get to kick a field goal instead. Uh, what do we got here? I like this play. Backed up in your own end zone. He's going to get pressure. You're going to man coverage, and he's going to hit DK Metcalf on this dig right here. Nice route by DK. But we're going to run this, this pivot with the tight end. All right, man coverage. I like DK a little. See that head fake at the top? Beautiful. Beautiful way to get open on the dig when you, when you stack the corner. Right, the, the safeties are playing two man. Fired in there, right? You got man coverage, you got pr pr uh, pressure. Have conviction, pull the trigger. We've got man coverage. Beautiful. I don't care if I'm about to get lit up. Fired in there. Bam. Puts it on him. Get yourself out of the end, uh, back of the end zone. Uh, run a curl flat seam versus quarters. I like this read. We've got the seam right here. We've got the flat. Lock it on the curl. Pulls the trigger on it. Again, could be a tad late. Like you can pull the trigger at this point right here, but then you have this player. So he's a tad late, and it, the ball just barely gets deflected. You see the power, the velocity on that throw, though. All right, so I'm not going to judge him for that. But fire it in there. And the ball just barely gets tipped. But I, I don't blame him really for being quote unquote late on that because you know that corner could have gotten an interception. Could have been trying to bait him into a throw. Uh, and then last two plays of the game. He's going to get the same coverage look on these last two plays. Too high safety. We're getting man coverage. Right? But they're going to rotate. This safety down to cover the back and man coverage. And then this safety is going to take the middle of the field. Let's let our ball winner, DK Metcalf, go and win. Nice route by DK. Put it in there. 
right? Gives it a spot where the safety is not able to get over. DK wins. Maybe, maybe that's a bad ball, but I like the throw. Now, for the game winner, we've got the same exact look. Right, we've got the same exact look. We got these two deep safeties. We've got man coverage. So let's read the safety. We read this safety. And he comes down to be in man coverage with the back. And at that point, he knew that I'm finna win this game. JSN does a great job tempoing this. And just beautiful, beautiful ball placement by Drew Locke. Outside shoulder. Great catch by JSN. Game winner. Eagles are sad. We love to see it. All right. Appreciate you guys. We'll have uh, uh, Jermaine Alamunor out tomorrow morning. Singletary, Runyon, and, and Brian Burns are done. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy. Check out the playlist. All that good stuff. Like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the pod. Number one place for Giants content. In my opinion, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go. Big Blue.